Yo, what's going on, man? We continuing. We're almost done with the first season. Honestly, if there's only 26 episodes, I might just watch all three. Uh, this one is the Hostage Earth. So if this is all a part of the same thing, then I guess we might as well finish it out. See what they're talking about. Where we are. No one challenges Carnilla. I am Carnilla. Well done, mortal. Come, Scourge. Let us give the Grey Gargoyle his reward. The Grey Gargoyle. I don't know this as well. What the hell is that? And why? Yo, what is this team? <laughs> team of goddamn Ben 10 villains, bro. The time has come, mortals. Bro, she says mortals like a slur. And where is Shea Gargoyle? The battle was hard fought. They killed him. He did not make it. <laughs> what is the point of that, though? I guess they're just using them until Loki comes back. They don't actually care about the team itself, just expendable. But, bro, it's like the more allies you got, the better, right? I mean, unless they just don't trust them in general. You don't understand, Jan. I should have. After all, my mind was the basis for Ultrons. Take a pack to sack, tipping out. Bucky and I had infiltrated a Hydra base in Norway. That was Norway where Captain America was? Why the hell does Sky look like Saturn or something? One for each realm. It is said the nine Fire. realms are interconnected by Idrisil, the tree of life. It's interesting that they follow all the mythologies. Like e a little bit of every mythology is real in this in these universes in both Marvel and DC. Stay in radio contact. What the fuck? <laughs> What type of ship was that? That did not look comfortable, bro. Why is Wasp always the first one to get jumped? If you've got I saw it coming from a mile away. Now's the time. It's a trap! Abomination is here! Wasp! Get out of there! She said that hers is a trap. Why did you think yours wouldn't be? That's living laser. Who? Iron Man. Living, living laser. As in something you're not going to be in about five seconds. Four, you have three, no idea two, how much one. I've been looking Nikolai. for. But they not, better not do it again where they just cut and everybody's knocked out. Like, I would like to see exactly how they keep losing. <laughs> No, wait. You're the hypno hustler. Am I right? How can you not remember who I am? You punched me in the face! <laughs> that doesn't really narrow it down, pal. This nigga ain't even. He, he's that confident, huh? Didn't even have to ambush, just sit and post it up. Come on, Hulk. Put this nigga in the ground. You are more of a fool than I originally thought, Zemo. If you <laughs> think that. Get up! I was gonna say too, this nigga just pull up, put up a regular gun and pointed at Thor. But of course, fucking got diamond kryptonite or some shit in it. And like, bro, what? Why is it green? <laughs> Yo, he winded that punch so far back where he bit his lip. He was really putting it all into that. Iron Man did exactly as I knew he would. The fool. I'm guessing his weapons are enchanted. Literally. These niggas, like, bro. Their powers are way too stacked for them to keep losing like this. They make them look so goofy. Like, this is their first time fighting in general. <laughs> Damn! He's back. Wasn't gone for more than half an episode. There you go. There you go. Get up in there. <laughs> uh oh. Those fairies. That was a damn good guess. <laughs> Elves? Oh, yo, Captain America's getting his ass whooped. 
Got the whispers of Niflheim, whispering fog or something. I don't even know. I don't remember. <laughs> Do you really believe that I ever trusted her? put a shock collar on it. Alright, Zemo got a little bit more than half a brain. <sighs> Lightweight. <laughs> he took his axe. Yes! No! Stay away! I'm afraid I can't do that, Dynamo. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even talking to you, bro. <laughs> He's black? What the uh, fuck? I did not think he would be a nigga. <laughs> Why are they just giving him the death stare? No idea what he just did. He shot him to space, bro. Thor just be playing. I'm sick and tired of this nigga always letting them wrap him up just to escape in the most effortless way. <laughs> Weak ass shot collar, bro. Fucking broke apart like Legos. Yeah. Connection to Avengers ID cards lost. Avengers biosignatures not found. Did they get transported to Asgard? All of them? Nay, welcome home, <laughs> brother. Nay. They gonna explain what the hell happened to Odin's son for him not to be in his chair, bro? Like what? All right. Next up is the fall of Asgard. Lost and separated. The Avengers struggle to survive in the nine realms of Asgard. Oh wait, maybe it was only him that got transferred to Asgard, and everybody else got transferred to a completely different realm as well. Ant Man and Wasp was fighting giants. Which is in Jotunheim, so maybe they in there and said, we gonna find out. And then there's also the fact that elves are from... It's been a minute since I played God of War, and God of War is the only reason I know anything about Norse mythology. Alfheim? I think Alfheim. You could take him. Okay, that's a lot. I could take him. But this time... Odin's favorite son was not there to protect him while he slumbered. He looked more like Zeus. <laughs> nah, throwing wine on his head is insane, bro. But I am not a lesser being. Not anymore. The Odin force is mine. And all the nine realms will bow down to me. The fact that you even saw yourself as a lesser or lesser being to begin with is insane. Only Midgard remains. And there's no one left to save him. Last time I checked, buddy. I'm still here. <laughs> Whoa. You should not have trespassed in Jotunheim, mortal. I'm pretty sure you're not too interested in talking this out. And frankly... Neither am I. Neither am I! <laughs> Didn't even swing back. He just killed somebody. What is it? Do they have such ugly things in Vanaheim? Whatever it is. Vanaheim. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Bro, what the fuck? I can't talk. I don't know much about Vanaheim. Damn. Who's in Muspelheim? I don't see no fire. Back off. Right now, the mortal is waving at us. Why is he doing that? Where am I? Why is he doing Who are that? Sir, Sir Vartalheim? That's the one with the dwarves, ain't it? Nay, Nidavalir. What the fuck is Nidavalir? First, we must get to safety. Safety? From what? <laughs> Whatever that is. Bro, they look like like a team of some sort, like some Ninja Turtles, but dwarves. Damn! He's just a bully. 
<laughs> yeah, Hawkeye. <laughs> I said after watching him outrun Captain America on a motorcycle, I definitely believe he's fast enough to outrun some wolves. Oh, never mind. His bow be breaking apart so easily. He equipped him to his back. <laughs> he got on so fast. Somebody call Peter. If they were pulled into the nine realms as you were. Yep, that is insane. They are truly <laughs> that is crazy as hell. If the Avengers didn't exist and Loki invaded the same way he did in the first Avengers movie, who do you think would be strong enough to stop that at the time? At the time of the invasion, or would it have just been GG's? So I don't think the, the X-Men would have, <laughs> what's the word, executed correctly. Fantastic, Fantastic Four is just not strong enough, bro. Like, overall, they're just not strong enough. Who is that? Damn Valkyries. Truly, you are a wonder. Both a man and a giant. But you fought well. For a mortal. Thanks. I think. At the head of an ant. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what just happened, bro. <laughs> well fought, Ogre. How they get that fat nigga in a cage, bro? He just didn't fit in the same one as everybody else. You are a Nephilim now, Stephen Rogers. I knew it. There is no leaving. Is that my love? Well then, lady. We're in for a Helena? long night. I was about to say Male Maleficent or whatever the, the hell that damn Disney <laughs> malfeasance. I don't know what her name is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tear you apart, mortal. That would have completely shattered his damn arm, bro. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that would work like that, but we'll let her rock. I feel like that would kill him. <laughs> Come. Uh, I don't know what was what was wholesome about that, but something was something was wholesome about that. I personally crafted Thor Odinson's hammer, Mjolnir. Ever make a suit of armor? Those are the same dwarves, bruh. They could cook up something crazy. Give me the X, please. Burrito says. Alright, man, we're continuing. This is the last episode of season one. A day unlike any other. Eight realms have fallen, and only Midgard remains. The Avengers are nothing against his power. Loki has won. It's one hell of a description, man. Almost believe it, but uh, I think I think they got it. I'm not gonna lie. I think they're still gonna win. <laughs> Impossible for a, for a show like this, airing on TV, to end a season on a bad note. It's just not it's just not possible, bro. That's something I would expect from Attack on Titan. Building a, uh, an Asgardian suit. Damn, they all got armor. <laughs> Valkyrie armor. Bro, put a crown on his crown. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it to transition to the intro. Bro, Iron Man suit looked like it's gonna be tough. They really made an entire suit out of the same materials that made Yonir and Kratos' axe. Nigga would be unstoppable. But something tells me he's just not gonna just not gonna keep the suit after this episode. <laughs> I hate that shit. Hating shows whenever a character gets a crazy upgrade only lasts for an episode. With Ben 10, they literally had to make an entirely different show <laughs> in order for him to keep the upgrade in 
order for him to have the ultimate aliens, they needed to make a whole new show. Damn! Broke straight through his weapon. Whatever it was. You wanna cross something? Try me! Bro, Hulk's face has changed <laughs> every other time he's on screen. Alright. He just got thrown into a helmet. If he broke through that, then whoever he landed on is dead. <laughs> oh my face grab. Hey. He looks badass. Caught it. He did not catch it. But he ate that. Yo, all these mythical ass ways of travel. <laughs> Look, Sif. Thor is our teammate, and Earth is Sif? just as much in the firing line as Asgard. We're in this together. I thought Sif was Thor's wife. <laughs> Probably is in actual mythology, but not here since he's with Jane. <laughs> you wish to return to battle, Captain. Then you must offer me something in return. You got the same cloak I have in Destiny. It's like the root of and nightmares cape for the hunter. Then your mortal spirit belongs to me forever. That doesn't sound like that good of a deal. Is that Fenrir? That nigga is huge. Wait, whoa. Loki has gone mad. He has summoned Horfin, the Ice Wolf. Horfin? Ho? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? That would have been brutal if it just completely broke his arms apart. Damn! Hawkeye, Wasp, Panther, go for the eyes and mouth. Giant Man, Hulk, take a leg and take it down. Did he actually make the deal? If you are so all powerful, Loki, then why haven't you won yet? <sighs> Got him. Why did that sound like the end of Godzilla's roar, but the American version? <laughs> <laughs> he looks crazy as hell. He looked like a pug right there. His eyes went opposite directions. Yeah. Damn. Bro, you literally had a shield. Of course, they got worked. You really have no idea with whom you speak, do you? He didn't even say anything. <laughs> wow, that was beyond petty. Here he comes. Whoa! <laughs> he looks tough. This nigga had his own entrance, bro. But I'm sick and tired of Thor being MVP. Free Thor. I'll hold him off. Yeah. Damn. Dealing with mortals is beneath me. Damn, bro, Iron Man should be OP than a bit with that damn suit on, man. <laughs> Literally not doing anything. <laughs> what the hell? Peeling his skin off? Damn. <laughs> No, he about that. <laughs> Why was his legs kicking in the air like that? Without control, the Odin force could destroy the nine realms. You could begin Ragnarok. So be it. Oh yeah, he's a crackhead. He's willing to begin Ragnarok just to win. He's gonna pull the tree of life out of his roots. How is that not gonna be bad?
You waking up? Oh, GG's, buddy. Oh, GG's, buddy. <laughs> it stands back up. Now what? Long have I ignored your mischief, Loki. But this is not mere trickery. This is evil. I gave you everything. I made you my son. And this is how you repay me? He sounds like Mr. Krabs. So where did he take him instead? You have the thanks of Asgard, mortals. To the mightiest heroes in the Nine Realms. Hail Avengers! Hail Avengers! Hail Avengers! <laughs> nice. Not, bad, not too bad yourself, Iron Man. Are we not gonna acknowledge the fact that Captain America had to make a deal to give away his soul to be there, though? the hell was that <laughs> Yo, his voice actor was going crazy right there that sounded real like <laughs> that sounded like actual fear steven rogers huh? that a damn scroll the infiltration has begun yeah, the scroll I had a feeling. Punk ass. And there you have it. Season one complete. Completed it. Overall, not bad. Not bad. Definitely lacks a... Obviously, as we get older, in order for us to feel certain emotions, things need to be a little bit more serious. The stakes need to be a little bit higher. Or it just needs to be darker in general it definitely lacks that stuff even the stakes are definitely high with every other episode the damn world by the end all the realms about to collapse like they they got the stakes <laughs> but in terms of like actual loss there being a chance of a character being killed off or people actually suffering serious injuries during a fight like in a what's a good example it's like when for example, if you look at like Mortal Kombat, whenever somebody's limb gets frozen in like a cutscene, you're kind of like, whoa, like he, if, if it breaks, it's actually like GG's, it's gonna break off completely and they're gonna, they're gonna have to suffer that loss, it's gonna be permanent, but with this, when Hank's arms got frozen, it just... It's just, they just weren't, they were just immobilized, I guess. Stuff like that, I think is definitely necessary in a fight for you to actually not only wonder if they'll win, but wonder if they'll win without being seriously harmed. I think that aspect is definitely important nowadays. Or just like long-term damage. Because like with DC, bro, even though they brought back Superman, you had that fear, that, that, that fear in the back of your mind, like he's back. But he's like way weaker. Like, is he really gonna stay like that, or is he gonna end up getting his power back? Is he gonna get stronger? Like, what's gonna happen? What's about to happen here? Definitely a lot of nostalgia from like the music with this show. Not gonna get my rating yet, just yet though. I'm gonna wait till I finish the second season. But y'all, let me know what y'all thought. Uh, season one. If you enjoyed my reaction, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And I shall see you all in the next one.